All right, I'm here to show you how to quickly take apart your CS511-2 VTAC phone, I think is the model number. I don't know. I don't think there were 5,100 and 110s phones before this, but uh, yeah, I guess that's not up for me to decide. Anyhow, I don't know why you'd want to take it apart, although I have my suspicions. There might be something rattling around in it, which is what bugged me. So this is more than just taking the back part off. This is how to completely disassemble it to see if something is messed up inside or if something broke loose. And I will show you what broke loose in mine. And hopefully that helps you out. So first thing you got to do very simply is take the phone, flip it over, pop off the uh, battery cover. That's easy. Now take the battery out, and this battery might not look the same as yours because this is an aftermarket one, because these die um, every year, maybe two, depending on how much you charge it and how long you leave it on the charger. So you just take the battery out, just pull it out to unplug it. That's really easy. Now, zooming in, zooming in, zooming in, you're going to find right down, oh, where is it now, right there, and there, I know you can't see it too well in this light, but in the bottom two corners there's a couple of Phillips head screws. So you just take a little teeny screwdriver, well, of course with the right end, I had the flat blade there, but with the correct Phillips head you can unscrew these. Now they're a little bit tough to get out, but nothing you can't overcome with a bit, little bit of elbow grease. One and two. Come on now, jump. There we go. Alright, so those are out. That was pretty easy. Now, the only other thing to do, unfortunately, is to take the correct screwdriver that I started with, a flathead, and just find some little spots in the side and pry. Now, that might seem a little daunting, but Again, just takes a little bit of elbow grease and pull. And there you go. Suddenly everything starts popping out of place. And you're in. Now that you're in, I guess do what you came here to do. But what I came here to do is find out what the heck was rattling around inside. And I was, I guess, not sad. I was glad it wasn't a screw or a component or some sort of microphone or anything like that it was just a little teeny piece of hot glue rattling around so now i can reassemble and notice the antenna there you have to slide into the housing you can just clip it back together make sure everything kind of lines up and once it starts clicking and popping you know you're in the zone put the screws back in screw them in i know this is probably Oh man, magnetic screwdriver, which is awesome, except for when you don't want it to be. This is probably, you probably already stopped the video by now. I don't blame you, I would have, because you're already done with it. Um, but yeah. Anyhow, if you're still with me, we can put the battery back in, and it can only plug in in one way, and the nice thing is it shows black and red, and the wires are black and red. So, if you can't line those up, then you shouldn't be qualified to operate the internet at this point in time. And that clips in there, and this goes back in, and da 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 da. And now, hopefully, we get dial tone. Wherever dial tone needs to be detected. And that's how you take apart and reassemble your VTEC phone for whatever rattle may be going on, or whatever else you need to do. Hope this helps. I know it helped me. I couldn't find any other video to do it, so I figured I'd make my own. Ciao for now.